Hey guys, this is Andrew with Ross Monster. Today we're gonna walk through a Sprinter 170. Uh, we did a great build on this and have a ton of cool features in here. So we're gonna start with some of the exterior stuff. We have a Van Compass 4.3 suspension kit on here as well as aftermarket wheels and tires. We did a Tannerack roof rack with an awning and some LP9 Baja lights off the front. This roof rack's pretty cool because it also has a solar deck. So, or it's called a solar deck, but it's just a deck that goes up over that AC so that we have more usable space up on that roof rack. It's great for hanging out up there. We also did some walkable solar panels. So a little bit different than other roof racks, pretty much the entire space up there is functional floor space, which is really cool. Um, we also have some exterior storage on the back, which we'll take a look at. And now we'll take a quick walk around the van and kind of look at some of these exterior features. On the front, we have tons of lighting. We've got the LP9s up on the roof rack, as well as down here on a CA tuned front bumper with a winch. Walking around, we have Rome built side steps here on both the driver and passenger side, which is really nice, especially in these four wheel drive and all wheel drive vans. It helps with getting into the vehicle. And on the back, we've got Owl Vans uh, components, the rear storage box, the B2 bike carrier, uh, tire ladder with the Expedition handle on here. And then we also have a side mount ladder as well. So you have multiple options on how to get up to this roof rack. Here we are at the sliding door, getting ready to get into the van. Here you see we have a Lagoon mount table. So this table can be used both here as kind of an outdoor exterior table, or can also be moved in used inside at the two dinettes in the rear. On the front face of this cabinet here, we have a countertop extension, which flips up. We also have an outdoor shower hookup right here, as well as a little drain plug in the floor. So there is a removable shower pan that will come. It has a little drain hole, so it drops into that drain plug, which drains directly into our undermount gray water tank. They can set up their little shower pan right here, hook up to their outdoor shower, and they can shower either in their van in this open space, or obviously hook this up and shower outside um, if the weather is nice enough or if they're somewhere private. Here we are inside the van talking about some of the different design features. We have slab door cabinetry, both on the uppers and lower cabinetry in here. We also have a really nice blue paint finish with some white slam latches. So again, this whole van is going to feel very open. That's complemented by some of these lighter colors and kind of white accents through the cabinet poles and that outdoor shower piece. We also have some paper stone countertops in here. This is paper stone leather, which is a really cool aesthetic, um, really nice. And it also has a little custom cutting board insert for this sink and this Rivati 15 by 15 inch workstation sink, which is really nice. You also see on this uh, passenger side galley, we notched this sink cabinet. And that's also the reason why we went with a slightly smaller sink here so that when this folding bench seat does fold down like this you can still walk by and access the front of this area and then obviously to fold this back down just goes out of the way nice and easy and now we have this whole kitchen area open once again and then stepping further to the rear of this vehicle we have a large dinette in the back. These both fold into a large second bed. And then we also have a happy jack bed system on a lift, which comes down so that there's multiple sleeping zones in this van. Uh, like I said, there's quite a few people in this family. So on the driver's side, we have two folding bench seats, which is gonna be great for the whole family. So this folds down, this backrest folds up at each seat. On the wall, we also have some USB plugs as well as a speaker in the wall there so that they are going to be traveling in comfort. So on the passenger side, here we have our kitchen galley. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got the Rivati 15 by 15 workstation sink here. Underneath in this plumbing cabinet, we have this sink draining directly to our undermount gray water as well as an inline water filter. We also have a little soap dispenser here 
Stepping rearward, rearward a little bit, we've got a nice Brevwell or Brevel, however you would say that, oven stove combo here. Uh, these are super cool. It's a good way to get kind of multifunction out of a simple uh, microwave unit. And then down below, we've got a nice big drawer in here. There's a two burner portable induction cooktop. And then up above, just a nice big wide drawer here for kind of uh, utensil storage or other cookware storage as well. And then just back from there, we've got a Vitrofrigo Slim 150 fridge. These are great. There's a ton of storage in here. You can pull this freezer open and then you've also got this drawer down here for even more food storage. They're also really nice. They don't take up a lot of space in here. And then it also allows us to have nice storage up above it without having a big floor to ceiling fridge or those bigger wider ones that we sometimes do below the galley cabinets as well. Here we are back in the dinette area of this van. Uh, on the two walls, we've got some big turn windows. Also opening up these rear doors and utilizing your bug screens is also a great way to get a ton of airflow in here and make this space feel very open. When you are back here, if it's time for bed, these two dinettes do convert into a larger bed as well. And then this happy jack system comes down so that you have two sleeping zones. In each of these dinettes, we have our system storage. So this is the electrical cabinet. And then this is going to be your power or your plumbing cabinet. So in here, this is our electrical cabinet. We have just over 200 watts of solar on the roof. We have 600 amp hours of lithium batteries with a 3000 watt inverter. We have battery heat pad switches, and then, which is slightly different from some other builds that we've done, you have a rotary switch that you can jumpstart your van. So if you're ever at camp, say they're running their audio, radio, speakers, whatever, they leave a door open and they drain their van battery. Come back here, you turn that switch and you can jumpstart the van off of these house batteries, which is a nice fail safe. And then in the rear of this cabinet, you also have some just kind of utility excess storage over on this side, this is our plumbing cabinet. We have an aqua hot heater system, which is back here. And then we have a 30 gallon freshwater tank. Rearward of that, in the very back, we have just more kind of utility extra storage for whatever they want to use. We also have two lagoon mount options. So one near the front, one rear the back. And there are, again, two tables. So you can set up both tables at once they will swivel together and kind of make one large table. Or like I'm doing right now, you just have one table set up. There's multiple workspaces in here. So at that front folding bench seat, one person could be hanging out at that table. One person could be back here. Talking about kind of heating and cooling in this van, first in the warmer months, we have a nomadic AC unit back above the bed, which is gonna be great for cooling this down in the evenings. We also have our max air fan here. Typically we'll put these kind of over the galley area, help when you're cooking, pull some of that out. It's also a great way to just move air in here. We also have a lot of ventilation. So we talked about those turn windows back by the dinette. We also have two big AMA half slide windows on both the driver's side and the passenger side. These are great windows, especially for uh, these passengers. They can look out as you're driving down the road. And then for heating, we have an aqua hot heater hydronic system. So or heater hot water system, it is hydronic. So it's heating thermal mass. We've got one heater back here in the dinette for that area. And then we have another blower location up here in the front of this sink cabinet. Thanks for following along guys. Again, I'm Andrew with Ross Monster. Please give us a like on Instagram or subscribe to us on YouTube so that you guys don't miss any of these van tours. And thanks for following along.